Hello and welcome to video four of four of my free mini online course for po strong postnatal core for life. So here is the key to having a strong core for life without having to do pelvic floor exercises every day forever. And that key is to be able to hold your body in a strong, good quality way and you have to start with posture, you have to start with the way that you stand and hold yourself, then move on to the way that you move your body and you carry weights and things. So let's start with posture. Let's start with the way that you stand. Back in the day where we lived in caves and we had to hunt for our food and we had to use lots of energy to go and collect food and water, we needed to be able to Con conserve as much energy as we possibly could. So we would stand in a lazy way. Our body would find a way where it would use the least muscles possible so that it would conserve our energy to go off and hunt for food and to go collect water. But we no longer need to do that. And what do we do? We go off to work and sit at a desk or we spend the evening sat on the sofa watching telly. So we, our bodies don't go off and do all that activity. So what we need to do is stop standing in a lazy way because there's no need to anymore. So you need to learn how to stand in a strong, supportive way. So when you're stood around, it's not putting strain on your bones and your ligaments. When you're stood in a lazy way, your body is finding ways to use ligaments to hold your body still. It's going to cause damage and pain. What you want to do is use muscles to hold you. So the muscles become stronger, they support your ligaments, they support your joints, they support your bones and you have a happier, stronger, healthier body. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I wish it was just as simple as just knowing that because you also you need to learn how to do that and that's why I'm here. So let's start with posture and that's what we're gonna, I'm going to go on to show you. Okay so let's take a look at your posture. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So firstly, I want you to think about your feet. I'd like you to place your feet so they're around about kind of hip shoulder width apart and your toes should be pointing forward at 12 o'clock. So what you'll probably find is that you might have your feet face spaced out and your legs a bit wider because that's an easier way for your body to be. If you're hanging out here with your legs wider, you have a larger stance and your body just doesn't have to do as much. But we want to make our body work even when we're just stood still because this is how we're going to get a strong body. So let's bring those feet in, toes pointing forward and there's our feet. Next one to bring you up to your knees. So if I just turn to the side here, I'll make sure I've got my feet placed right. What you might find is that you sometimes stand with your knees locked out. If you've got your knees locked out completely like this, you don't have to use any muscles around them to keep you stood up. But we want to make these muscles work, right? So we're going to just slightly bend our knees and you'll feel already that your leg muscles are just starting to have to work a little bit. These are the muscles that should be working all the time but they're not used to. Let's go back up to, go up to your hips. So. Generally, what you might find is that you're on a tilt like this, because if you're stood like this, your body can kind of use your bones to hang around on and not have to use your, your butt muscles, or the other way, because then you can do this slouching thing like this, and you can feel how that uses so much less muscles. So what I want you to do is find your pelvic, your neutral stance in your pelvis. So that's by finding the bony bits at the front here, and the bony bit here and those should be straight down and that's where you'll find that neutral stance in your pelvis. It might help to tuck it under, see how that feels, tuck it out, feel how that see, see how that feels and then bring it back to neutral. Another thing I want you to notice is that your hips will probably generally scoot forward like this because if you scoot forward you're sending the centre of gravity down the middle of your feet. You're using less muscles. So I'd like you to bring your hips back over your ankles, okay? Now you will feel, with your pelvic, with your pelvis neutral, now you will feel your leg muscles are working and your butt muscles are switched on, okay? Start, your butt body is starting to do the work it should be doing when it stood still. 
So all I do, when you're looking here, if you look down, you'll be able to see that your hip bone and your knee and your ankle are all in one line. If there is one further forward than the other, just readjust so they're all in line. I've got a nifty trick to check this out actually. So if you get a piece of string or a piece of wool on a weight, so I've just used a stone from my daughter's collection, I will return it before she notices, otherwise she will not be happy. And you let this drop down by your ankle. <coughs> so keep the weight slightly off the floor so it it's can move, so that if you come further forward, as you, can you see how, how that, that weight is now half up between my foot? But if I put my hips back, there we are, so my ankle. So that's just another bit of a, another test, another help to work out how this alignment should be. And then just feel how that is. See how that feels? That's what you're aiming for. Next, we're going to look at shoulders. So quite often people will be rounded like this. If you let your, your shoulders drop like this, they're just kind of hanging here <laughs> and the muscles aren't having to work so your body just naturally brings you here and also because a lot of us will spend a lot of time on computers looking at our phone driving these are all positions that are making us do this so our body kind of stuck here so what I'd like you to do is try and bring your shoulders back and again they should be in line oh I've lost my stone let me just readjust, re-put my stone on. Ta-da! I'm back. Okay, so let's bring this, this, this back into play. You have to say your ankle is running through your knee and your hip. It should also be able to extend and run through your shoulder. Another thing I'd like you to know is quite often when our shoulders kind of get stuck in this position, if we bring them back, notice my ribs, if we bring them back, our ribs come forward too, and I don't want you to allow that to happen. So I want you to think about your ribs uh, in line with our, with our pelvis here, and then keep your ribs here, keeping them still, then I want you to bring your shoulders back. So it's truly your shoulders moving, not your shoulders and your ribs, okay? So we've got feet, shoulder width apart, 12 o'clock. We've got knees, teeny bit, bit bent over our ankles. We've got pelvis in a neutral tilt over our knees and our ankles. We've got our shoulders over our over our hips, our knees and our ankles and our ribs are staying down. Okay, we're doing good. Last thing I want to show you is your head. So what will probably happen with a lot of you is that you're moving your, your head will kind of slump forward like this. The, your ear needs to join in this line. So your ear needs to be this, in the same line as your shoulder, your hip, your knee and your ankle. So you're going to bring that back. What quite often happens when people are used to hanging about here is they kind of bring their head back into all this like and, and almost like look up with it. What I want you to do is stay looking forward and your chin is coming down while your head is going back until your, until your ear is in line with your shoulder. And there you have your stance. What you will find in this stance is that the muscles in your legs are switched on, the muscles in your stomach are switched on, the muscles in your butt are switched on, the muscles in your shoulders and your back and your neck are all on. They are switched on, they are supporting your body. You are stood strong and you are using all of those muscles. All of those muscles are going to get stronger the more you use them and it's going to allow you to stand like this more. Don't expect this to happen overnight. You're not going to be able to just suddenly know how you should be standing and stand like that all the time. These muscles are not used to being used. So we've got to train them into that. So what I want you to do is every time you're stood, every time you're brushing your teeth, every time you're stood talking to friends, every time you're stood in a queue somewhere, whenever you're just stood, I want you to take note of your posture. And whatever posture you've got yourself into, which might be a bit like this, because it's probably gonna be a lazy posture, I want you to kind of think feet, ankles, knees, hips, back, pelvis, ribs, shoulders. 
every time you think of it. And the more you do it, the more your body will get into the habit of doing it and the stronger you're going to get and the less pain you're going to get in all of your body, the stronger core you're going to build up. So it's all the pluses. So give it a go. So I've just been editing the videos for the free mini online course and I'm really pleased with them. I hope you found them helpful and you've learned lots from them. If all you do is that, then I believe that you will still have a stronger core. Please go and follow me on Facebook and look at the videos that I put up because I'll be constantly giving you tips on how to live day to day with a strong core. I really hope I have inspired you to want to take this a bit further, to want to learn how to move your body and live day to day with a strong body and a strong core, which will benefit you for the rest of your life. And if I have inspired you, please go and take a look at my full online course. It's just £12.50 a month um, membership. You're not tied to any contract. You can go and take a look for a month and if you don't have time just yet or you want to come back to it, you can cancel it for a bit and come back. Um, but go and have a look and see if it's something that interests you because I really hope that I can help you some more and work with you some more. Do sign up to the mailing list because if you are more a person who likes to do these things in person, my aim in the future for my business is to have in-person workshops and classes throughout the UK so I'll hopefully be coming to you soon. Please drop me a message on Facebook, Messenger or email, I'd love to hear from you. What do you need? What do you want? What questions do you have? I want to answer them for you. I really hope that I can work with some of you soon. See you soon.